In today's video, we are going to be opening up two ETBs of Scarlet and Violet Surging Sparks. But these aren't just any two regular ETBs. Oh no, these are two ETBs from the Pokemon Center. This is a super special set because it is the return of Pikachu as the mascot front and center. With all that being said, let's find out if we're gonna get some shockingly good pulls. So we've got two of the Pokemon Center ETBs. These differ from your regular ETBs because, well, you get more packs and you get a special version of the promo card inside. Now, ETB stands for Elite Trainer Box. Nice and simple. I appreciate there's quite a few new people to the channel. So we'll go through the contents of the first ETB. They're all the same. And uh, there's actually probably a few people new to the card game itself due to Pokemon Pocket. So we get this little booklet put inside. Here it shows off a lot of the artwork you can see. Tells you some of the rules, um, what's new, some little combos, some neat little tricks like that if you are getting into playing the card game, which why wouldn't you? It is incredibly fun once you get started. And then we've got the set list as well, which contains every card in the set with a nice little tick box. So you can tick them off as you go along. Keep track of your collection that way. I know a lot of people do it on their phones, but take it from me, when you're doing a card show and you're going out and about, it is really useful to have one of these in your pocket just to mark off as you go along. I mean, you've got to have pretty big pockets that are sizable, but when we get to the end, we can see all of the really amazing cards that come in this set. There's actually quite a few, isn't there? So, let's look inside the box itself and see what we get. We get ourselves, ooh, they've packaged these different now. There we go. So you're not really gonna have these sealed. I've been excited about this card for a long time because it's by my favorite artist, Sinji Kanda. In here you get two, that's right, two versions of the promo card. So in your regular ETB, you'll only have one. Why is there two? Well, it's not for trades, I'll tell you that much. You get two because if you notice the difference, this one here has the Pokemon Center stamp. And these tend to sell for significantly more than your regular ones. You get a code card, which you can have, because I'm nice like that. I'm straight up lovable, son. You get dividers, which you can use these dividers in the empty ETB box afterwards. And it is actually really useful for keeping your bulk collection together. You get some sleeves. They're not bad, they're nice, they're fun, they're simple. Personally, I don't recommend them. If you're gonna use sleeves for gaming, I recommend Dragon Shield. And uh, if you're gonna use them just to stick in your binder, you can't go wrong with the Ultra Pro Penny Sleeves. You get a bunch of energies just to help you out on your uh, deck building ways. If the, I mean, you get enough energies in packs anyway, but if you're starting out, this is pretty awesome. We get dice. Cool thing about these are, they've got a different design for the dice in every single ETB they do. So ETB from Surging Sparks will be different from, I don't know, Powdain Fates. Next up, you get your damage markers. These are useful when you're playing the game to keep track of who's burnt, who's poisoned. There are other ones like Sleeping Confused, but you change the position of the card to indicate that. And once you get all that out of the way, we get onto the good stuff, the actual packs themselves. We have 11 packs here, which is two more than you usually get in a standard ETB. That is the main thing and the promo card between a regular ETB and a Pokemon Center one. So with all of that out of the way, let's start ripping some packs. We've got, I never remember, Latias and Latias. It's a 50-50 chance I've got that right or wrong. I mean, they've been around since Gen 3. I should, should know the difference, but I don't, so I, well, I don't, so I don't really. Okay, code card going out. I've just cleaned up the code cards from the last pack as well. One from the back, we get ourselves a Darkness Energy. Helioctile, oh, God, I do forget it is part normal, isn't it? Charcadet, a Lolan Diglett, that is really cool as a uh, steel type. Sphil, Registeel, Jasmine's Gaze, Espafra, Misprit, that is a reverse hollow there. Vibravia and Killer Watchel EX. We get a hit on the first pack. I swear I say that in nearly every video and it just 
gradually goes downhill from there. So I did do a little bit of a silly with this uh, set. I thought I only ordered one from the Pokemon Center. Didn't check, didn't realize that I had actually got two. So I bought an extra regular ETB from my good friends at Eterna Cards. Oh, it's a new Mankey card. Best day ever. It's Zeb Striker, <laughs> Meryl. Um, so as I was saying, I've got a spare regular ETB sitting around. What should I do with it? Gouging fire, Togekiss. Well, I've had a little bit of a think. I was thinking, it's been a while since we've done a giveaway. So I'll be giving away the ETB when we get to 500. So you see that little number down below? The higher that gets, the happier I get. That's pretty sad, really. But that is how it is. When we get to 500, I will be doing a giveaway for my subscribers. Or a Corio, Zvilus, and a Lolan Executor EX Full Art. This is beautiful. Love the rainbow borders on these ones. Haven't quite come up with a way to uh, decide who the winner's going to be, so... I don't know. I think anyone that comments on videos, you get yourself in. Obviously, leaving it this late in the video, just so we get rid of all the uh, pesky people that accidentally click on. We want the real people to win this one. Meddling Memo, the Rotom, Paladin Tauros, and Iron Crown. Yeah, I don't know, I might throw in a few extra things into the giveaway. Maybe a blister pack. Maybe one of my uh, graded cards as well. We have a Battle Energy. So there won't just be the one prize up for grabs because I don't like just having one winner. Everyone should be a winner in a Kevin Mankey video. Yay! But unfortunately, it does not work that way. Oh. Morlo, Duraludon, and Pikachu EX. Holy moly, that looks amazing. We're getting a good amount of hits from this ETB. I don't know, are the hit rates in this set actually good? It's, uh, they've been on a bit of a lull for quite a while. Obviously, sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes, in my case, often, you don't. But this could be quite different. We'll see with the other ETB what we're like, eh? Dragon Elixir, Swar Blue, Simiseer, and Cofagrius. Next one is a Lolan Executor. We've already pulled a full art of that, and it is beautiful. There are many other cards in this set I want to get. Obviously, some of these might look familiar to you if you watched last week's video, where uh, whoop, bad, boo. I opened up its Japanese counterpart. What was that Paradise Dragona? So we have Azumarill, Krano. And Chien Pao. Okay, we've got a Pika Pack. Ooh, did not want to open that one, did it? Still doesn't want to open it. Open, behave. Cannot work with camera shy packets on my channel. And we get ourselves a Psychic Energy. Helioptile. Capsicid. Sligif. Sigilif. Duraludon. Golden Go. Magnazone, Technical Machine, Sphil, Hollow Ma Oh, we got the Reverse Mankey. I'm so happy with that one. It's uh, definitely one from my Mankey collection. And Gastrodon. It's quite good. I was thinking, uh, there's not been a new Mankey card for quite a while. At least since Paldean, yeah, Paldean Fates, where we got the reprints Mankey and obviously the shiny Mankey. One of these days, one of these days, we will get a proper, like, illustration rare Mankey. And, uh, yeah, that would be the best for me, personally. I think a lot of people, maybe not so much. Surfer did. You just drop in and just smack the lip. Whoop! Drop down. Snap. Fliddle, Dialga, and Palkia. Getting them in the same pack. Of course, it took me a while in the Japanese one to figure out that was actually Dialga, because, uh, 
It's not overly clear who that is, is it? All right, we're drawing to the end of this first ETB. Uh, we'll rush the contents of the second ETB. Or shall we just skip it? No, uh, yay. That's a really good throw. A lot of air time. I need to get a throw cam just for these cards, right? Because that's what the people want to see. Ooh, execute. Quick Quavel, Quack Quavel. You've been told off for that one, Kev. Get it right. Kecleon. Ooh, whoa, whoa. We are keeping that. I just realised. I was thinking the artwork looked familiar. It's a Sinji Kanda one. And Sinji Kanda, favourite artist. For me, this has got to be a great set. Sinji Kanda cards and a Mankey card. Does it get any better than them? Maybe a Sinji Kanda Mankey. Crocolaw and... Whoa! Full art. Lycia's Appeal. That was a really solid ETB. It's not even finished. We've still got one more pack. What am I on about? Two full arts in one ETB. That is not bad at all. I'm not going to say anything just yet. We'll see how the uh, other ETB goes. But have they actually got decent hit rates in this one? I know some people told me mm, not so much. Quaxwell, Toga Kiss. All right. I think that was a very good singular ETB. Here's the next one. Let's do it again. We have our book. Promos. Dividers. Wow. Sleeves. This is this. Energy. Rolling polems. Ouchies. Wahoos. So yeah, I just completely made a mess of the studio. I did not need to throw all of those when I was done with them. I, I can make it look like it was really quick in the editing. Why do I do that? So moving on to our second ETB. Uh, and we get ourselves a... Well, you get yourselves a code card. I don't, I don't get them. I don't get to use them. And we get a Darkness NG. Foy Coco, Mantine, Bronzong, Sandy Gas, Meowstic, Pasho Berry, Vavillion, who has a really nice uh, illustration rare in this set, Rakshish, Volcarona and Skeledurge. Actually, that is something I just noticed. We did not get a single uh, art rare in the first ETB. I'm kind of basic. I like the art rares myself. Who doesn't? It's a full picture. It's amazing. We get a Lightning NG, Dranza, Esper, Watchrule, Exadrill, Exeggutor. Not the alone one, the original. Gravity Mountain, Miraidon, Tanda Mouse, Mankey the Goat, and Hydreigon EX. Always a happy day when Kev the Mankey pulls a Mankey. My next pack. What I'm hoping for is the art rail of the Execute. I don't know why, I just like Executes. They're kind of cool. Drillbar, Magnemite. Slack off. I think that's the first one of those we've got. Indeedy, Terra Orb, Fluttermane, Delmise, least favourite Pokemon. Why? Because I can't tell what type of Pokemon it is. It's got algae on it, so grass type. Makes sense. It lives in and around water. Water type. Makes sense. It's an anchor. Metal type. Makes sense. It's kind of creepy. Ghost type. Makes sense. What is it? If you know off the top of your head what type that is, write it down in the comments below. You can make it up and I would still believe you. And Ninetales, Landris. Searching Sparks has been quite a hyped set and I think that is in large to Pikachu. Pikachu's not really been the poster boy for a set since Vivid Voltage. Yeah, don't get me wrong. He was there for Paldean Fates, but he wasn't really the main guy. He was on the packs, but, you know, he wasn't leading the charge. Quaxwell, a Lowland Diglett, Zarud. Next pack. So I'm really looking forward to next year's release of the Prismatic Evolutions. We're calling it Evolutions because of... Got a lot of Eevee Lucians in it. Bronzor, Molo, Alolan Diglett, Volcarona, Drayton, Kilowattrol, Ho Ho, that's a legendary Pokemon I've not seen for a good while. Strudel and another Full Art, holy moly. With, 
halfway, nearly halfway through the CTB. And we've got another full up. We're doing good. I don't know. I don't know. I've heard quite a few people <laughs> say that they've not done well with these uh, ETBs, including the Pokemon Center ones themselves. Not done well on the pools, but um, I don't know. Am I just getting lucky or are they just unlucky? We got a Leaf NG. Of course, I do like the new designs of the NGs, but maybe we should go back to the Heart Gold Soul Silver days where we got the silhouettes of the Pokemon. Uh, those are still fondly looked upon and remembered, you know, by the fan base. NGs are worthless, but you go back and look at those NGs, any one of them on eBay, going for really good money for what they are. Shinotic, Skullidurge, Dialga. Okay, we've got four more left. Five more. Five including this one. Numbers are hard. I am not really a math guy, you know? We got ourselves a Psychic NG, Togepi, and I do like Togepi, Yamask, Quaxley, Lively Stadium, it doesn't look that lively to me, Shinotic, Babiriberry, Babiriberry, Babiri, Babiri, and Gouging Fire, very nice artwork on that, of course it is, it's Akira Agawa. But yeah, if you're new on the channel, I'll say I've got my uh, list of favourite artists. Shouldn't be a surprise to anyone that Shinji Kanda is my absolute goat. But Akira Gawa is up there. And uh, Hayogono Suke, who actually liked one of my stories on Instagram recently. So, you know, he's goated. Trapagos. Three packs left. We are getting right down to the metal on this one. We are coming up to quite a few milestones. We're coming up to 500 subscribers here on the channel. We're not all that far away from 2,000, uh, what are they called on Instagram, followers. So we are getting there, La Vesta. Mankey, execute. Swablu, you know, we've not had any illust no, special illustration rares or gold rares since I've uh, come back to doing YouTube, at least from the newer sets. So hopefully we can get one in, uh, in these packs because it's been a good while, but Scovillian EX. Not going to lie, on that uh, Scovillian, when I saw that little bit of shine as I was pulling away, my heart did skip a beat. That red looked a lot like gold. So this is the penultimate pack. We have ourselves a Fighting Angie, Scatterbug, Buffalamp, Feebas, Crocolaw, Killer Watchall, Lively Stadium, Shinotic, Sir Titan, Foy Coco, and Eternus. How have we still not got an art rare card yet? I mean, illustration rare. It's confusing after opening Japanese packs. Different names, same thing. So, all comes down to this. Is it going to be Last Pack Magic or Last Pack Tragic? Cue the epic music. Honestly, I'm kind of on the fence about this set, but this one, this pack here, could be the deciding factor. We have a Fire NG, let's hope this pack brings the fire. Rotom, Vibravia, Klefki, Foy Coco, Ninetales, that's a new one for us, Cool Bell, Quack Quavel, Snorlax, Drasna, and our final card is... Rabska, no. So that is it, that is our opening of Surging Sparks, which is the last expansion set of 2024. What do I think of it? Honestly, just from those 22 packs, it's not too bad. I mean, it doesn't hurt getting free full art cards. That may have somewhat swayed my opinion on things. But overall, I think it is a great set and they've timed it perfectly with the release of Pokemon TCG Pocket coming out. Putting Pikachu front and center on these boxes, it's gonna get a lot of people buying them up. For me, I say this set is a buy. If you haven't already, please leave a like, leave a comment, and most importantly, hit that little subscribe button and preferably the bell right next to it. 
to stay up to date with all the latest going on on the channel, including updates on that giveaway at 500 subscribers. Until next time though, I have been Kev the Mankey, and you have been awesome. Thank you for watching today's video and for making it this far through it. If you enjoyed it, I've got two more right here for you. This one looks pretty good. This one's not bad either. Check them out.